on the back patio and I have this stretcher here in front of me that is one that I'm kind of repurposing into my next project. Uh, I'm pretty excited because this week I am preparing to actually travel to an artist residency in Wyoming. Very exciting. And so what I'm doing is getting everything ready that I need to have with me so that I'm able to produce, like, produce a whole bunch of work. So I decided to see if I can manage to make this epic six foot square piece while I'm there. So um, if you've ever tried to actually paint on an unstretched canvas and then stretch it later, you probably know it's actually pretty darn hard to um, get that thing stretched once it's got gesso and paint already on it. So what I do is I take a stretcher that I've built and I, uh, you know, pull the nice tight fabric across with canvas or linen or whatever I'm using. I give it my coats of gesso or ground, and then I remove it um, because what it's ha what's happened is that it's fully stretched for me. I know it's going to be good and tight, and so that when I take it and I travel with it, it's easier to just roll it up, right? And then when I return, I can easily unroll it and restretch it. I've already got a stretcher built that I know that will fit. So that's the plan here for what's going on right now. Um, just adhering a few um, screws to make sure that the crossbars are gonna be strong. Um, just as a little bit of a note, crossbars, you wanna put them essentially at least every 30 inches. I had built this before and I had a little bit too much space in between the crossbars. So I built, I added in a few extras to make sure it's a nice, solid structure so that the, the work can last and be sustaining and solid and hopefully find a home someday. <laughs> preparing a surface, I am starting to pack up stuff. Um, I don't know if you've ever been on an artist residency or know what it is, but um, it's really just time away for, you know, an artist to have the chance to, you know, produce their work, um, as well as space and a way to really focus on what they're doing. So, I don't know, this might be overkill, but this is the first time that they've actually been able to drive to residency rather than fly. So I'm excited to, you know, be able to have some more of my things with me. Um, so I kind of started packing, dividing things up into, you know, drawing tools, painting tools, sculpture, some books, and digital video stuff. Um, so if I were going to fly, obviously it'd be much more economic in terms of how much stuff I bring, but um, since I'm able to, I'm going to kind of think big and produce what I can while I'm there, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> So this is a roll of like painters tarp plastic that I use to actually ship my work from place to place whenever I kind of travel with it um, or even pack it up in a box. Um, it's kind of a nice thick durable um, cover for your work. Um, so what I'm going to do now is cut a piece to size, lay it down on my floor and then roll up my linen or you could do canvas with this. Uh, the important thing to remind yourself of is that when you roll up a painting, whether it's you know painted or not, you're gonna be rolling it with the, the sort of painted side outwards so that it doesn't compress within itself, which can cause it to crack. So that's what you'll see me doing as well.
Okay, I'm ready to take off and next I will see you in Wyoming on residence.